March 4th, around 9 o'clock, 67 degrees. Yesterday it got in the mid 70s. But look at this. And they smell so good. And strawberries are going crazy. I did make the leek and potato soup. Mighty tasty. Pulled up the, or didn't pull up, removed the pot that had the lettuce in it. Chickens wiped that out in just a matter of minutes. Got a couple little cherry tomatoes over there for my so-called tomato tree. Don't think so. Thing is, catnip does not like to be wet. And it's still wet. I've lost them that way. But look, spring's coming. Yes, it is. Things are starting to bloom. And look at my marigolds coming up from Sir Cracker, from Sir Cracker's garden. We've got giant ones to the left and lemon scented to the right. Let's see if we got anything. Oh, don't bend. Gotta bend. Look. Come on, get off of there. Attack my birds again. Oh, it feels like it's got water in it. Oh, it's got water. But it has one, two, three, four, five, six little roly polies that are dead. So I've caught about 20 of them here where you really shouldn't catch roly polies. Make a little ramp so they can get up easy. Make a gap so they can get under easy. Oh, gosh, half a dozen roly polies again. All sorts of pretties. And of course, weeds. Gotta have weeds. My voice is all funky this morning. More freesia. What I like is they got nice long stems. So I can cut it here and bring it into the house and it still will be blooming another two. Need to get water up there. Clingulas. Planted a Jerusalem artichoke there. Ordered up Jerusalem artichoke artichokes. It took forever to get here. A couple of them are moldy. A couple of them are black and slimy. They were all extremely soft. Planted another one over here. This nice snowdrops are not going to bloom this year. But the butterfly weed that I just pulled out of the ground transplanted fine. Need to cut all this back so the yard gets more, or this side gets more sun. Plus, before this takes over, there won't be a backyard. And hopefully a lot of those are sweet alyssum. There's last year's icicle radish. Or is it daikon? One of the two. But look at those nasturtiums taking over. The whole top is going to be covered with them this year, which is good. That attracts bees. Die bombed by birds. Beets are doing well, at least the beet tops. They're not bulbing up at all. Swiss chard. Kalawabi. Voice is clearing up. Maybe I should walk around singing for the first half hour. Get my throat to clear out. Oh. Calendulas. Love me some calendulas. Planet seeds everywhere. And they've come up this time. I do swear planting by the moon and the zodiac makes a big difference. More calendulas and strawberries. Oh, you look a little pruny. I better eat you. Yeah, a little dry and tough, but that's okay. 
It tastes good. More weeds. Don't need weeds. Planted early girl and better boy yesterday. And that's the volunteer. And everybody said, let it go, let it go. About three feet long. It's been going quite nicely. And those are Denver Long and the multicolored carrots. And those are Denver Long. Garlic. Ah, oh. no, that's a dandelion. I was going to say horseradish is coming up, but it isn't. Need to go dig the holes for artichokes. Ah, oh. zinnias. These seeds are at least 20 years old. But look at that. Pretty purple. That was just a solid mat of seeds. So I'd say maybe 10% of them came up. That means I can collect seeds off of these this year. Refresh my stock. That one spring got rid of the spider mites. Well, it was two springs. One day I sprayed it twice with just regular water with a drop of dish soap in it. Does anybody recognize this? I planted echinacea, echinacea purple coneflower purple cornflower echinacea and out of all the plants I got one yellow flower which was an evening primrose I may have planted two packages of seeds in the same thing I usually do that now oh, it's time to is it time to remove look at the size of that pea time to remove the snow peas I do not see buds because if they're still budding up I'll leave them in but if they've stopped budding oh, there's one but is it worth leaving the whole plant for one flower I have picked quite a bit of these this year and these are the onions that the cat knocked over it's bunching onions brown onions and garlic chives it looks like just the bunching onions survived the disaster but the oxalis is getting ready to bloom and look at all those little bite marks and they got little birdies over here eating them that's why you're inside of a cage well, it looks like a couple of radishes made it next week is radish planting time so I'll plant them then and this is the block root or salsify that's a weed that's a weed so hopefully I'll get them this year last year they came up a little bit and then something ate them or the drought got them okay let's see is anything over here This is sunflowers, morning glories, and cosmos. And I see something coming up. One morning glory did come up in the middle and it was gone the next day. So something ate it. That's why I got it covered now. And look at all the new growth that this salvia is putting out. I haven't been able to save any seeds because there isn't any seeds to save. And I've tried starting it from cuttings with no luck. As long as this one keeps on going. Just look at all the new little buds. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.